Hey, it's Darius, and I'm on the CPA exam Facebook groups every day, answering questions, helping candidates like yourself pass BEC, and I often get ideas for my next YouTube video from the CPA exam Facebook groups. So here's a topic requested by a student. It's called joint probability. Watch it to the end, and then look at it again right before your exam. Joint probability is one of those managerial accounting topics that could pop up on your exam in the area of forecasting. Joint probability is the probability of an event occurring given the probability that another event has already occurred. And the joint probability is determined by multiplying the first event by the conditional probability of the second event. So the question on the exam would look like this. The following information pertains to three service centers operated by Lazar Corp. And here's the question. If an error is made, what is the likelihood that it will be made in the Prince Service Center? So you see, we got three service centers. There's the Spring Center, the Prince Center, and the Eaton Center, and they're all service centers for Lazar Corp. And they want to forecast the likelihood that if an error is made in one of the service centers, what's the likelihood that it'll be made in the Prince Service Center, the one in the middle? So how do we determine using joint probability that if an error is made, what's the likelihood that it was made in the Prince Service Center and not the Spring or Eaton Service Center? Considering that these service jobs are handled by these three service centers for this one company, Lazar Corp. And here's what we would do. We'd start out by saying the Spring Service Center handles 30% of the job and there's 4% error in the Spring Service Center, which means that four times out of 100, when a job comes into the Spring Service Center, there's an error in the job. The Prince Center handles 50% of the jobs, but only two errors out of 100 service jobs are made in the Prince Service Center. The Eaton Service Center only handles 20% of the jobs, but look at this, seven errors out of 100 jobs. The Eaton Service Center is a little sloppy, and that's probably why they only handle 20% of the jobs. So notice it has to add up to 1.0, the fact that Spring handles 30% of the jobs, Prince handles 50%, and Eaton handles 20%, and that's a total of 1.0. Now, we want to know that if an error is made, What's the likelihood that it will be made in the Prince Service Center? And that joint probability is determined by multiplying the first event by the conditional probability of the second event. So what's the probability of the first event? Well, we'd have to take all three of these into consideration because they want us to know if an error is made somewhere here in one of the three service centers, what's the likelihood that it will be made by the Prince Service Center? So we start by multiplying. Since 30% of the jobs are handled at the Spring Service Center and four out of 100 result in errors, that's a combined rate of 0 0.012. We say a combined rate because we're taking two rates and multiplying them together. 30% times 4% is 0 0.012. Then we go down to the Prince Center and we see that they handle 50% of the jobs and only two errors out of 100 jobs. 50% times 2% is 0 0.010. And the Prince Center is the one we're concerned about. The Eaton Center, they handle 20% of the jobs, commit seven errors out of 100. That's 0 0.014. We add up all three of the combined rates. 0 0.012 plus 0 0.010 plus 0 0.014 equals 0 0.036. 0 0.036 is the total rate. Now we're going to divide each combined rate by the total rate. So for the Spring Center, they had a combined rate of 0 0.012. We'll divide by the total rate of 0 0.036, and that's 0 0.333. The probability of an error taking place in the Spring Service Center is 0 0.333. The problem is they didn't ask us about Spring. Let's go to Prince. For Prince, the combined rate is 0 0.010 divided by 0 0.036. That's a probability of error of 0 0.278. That tells us that if an error is made, 
there's a 27.8% chance that the error will be made in the Prince Service Center. And that's what the question asked. What's the probability that the error was made in the Prince Service Center? If they asked about Eaton, we would take the combined rate of 0.014 for Eaton and divide by 0.036, and that would be 0.389. So if an error is made, there's actually a 38.9% chance that the error will be made in Eaton Service Center. And that makes sense because they make so many errors and only handle a few of the jobs. So they asked us about prints. In fact, it was a multiple choice question and it looked like this. If an error is made, what's the likelihood that it'll be made in the print service center? And now we know that the answer is 27.8% letter A. So get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, where the right teacher makes all the difference.